Hello everybody. Recently I replaced the tailgate control module, HKL, in my 2012 BMW X5 because of water damage. Uh, be sure to check out my other videos on how I solved my water leak problem in the rear trunk area. I replaced the module with a used module. It was plug and play. Picked it up from the an auto parts recycling place. And I'm going to walk through how to reprogram the tailgate so you can open and close it with your key fob or from the button on the dashboard. To code the tailgate control module, you only need three pieces of software. You need INPA, you need the BMW coding tool, and you need NCS Expert. You obviously also need the data file for your vehicle. So step one, launch INPA. You can see that my cable was found. It's plugged in and ignition is on. You can select your chassis here. So for me, that's F6, which is an E70. I'm going to make sure that I'm able to read the airbag module. That's OK. That's OK. F2. You can see that it's able to read the modules, so I'm going to exit out of there and end that. Do you want to quit? Yes. I'm going to launch the BMW coding tool and launch NCS Expert. Let me maximize this. NCS Experts here. I'm going to load a profile. I'm going to hit F1, F3. I'm going to select my chassis E70 for the X5. I'm going to select the CAS ECU. Let's go. I'm going to go back, process the ECU. It's going to show me all my ECU modules available. There's the HKL, which is the trunk control module. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit F4. I'm going to read the HKL module. There's my trace file. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back to the coding tool. I'm going to load the trace file. And there are all the features of the HKL module. In fact, let me show only the NCS coding tool on the left. So we load the trace file. Let's do a search. I'm looking for SCH. There it is right there, SCH underscore FBD. It says not active. I'm going to click that, do quick change to active. OK. Don't have to search too far. The next feature I need is the one right below it, SCH underscore TOEHKI. I'm going to quick change that to active. And then the last one I'm looking for is TASTER. Do a search. There it is right there. T A S T E R underscore F B D. It's not active. I'm going to quick change that to active and hit OK. So now my manipulation file is done. I'm going to save my man file. And if I was saved, do you want to back up the trace file? Yes. Save. Do you want to back up the man file? Yes. Save. Now I'm going to go back to the NCS Expert tool. So NCS Expert tool, we're going to change job. SG coder in right there. Hit OK. Execute the job. Coding active. Coding ended. Now I'm going to pull the key. I'm going to put the key back in. I'm going to start the car and I'm going to see whether my features work and I'll be right back. Well, I'm happy to report that it works. I'm able to open and close the tailgate from the dashboard. I did not try the key, but I'm sure the key's going to work since the dashboard button's working. So we close out NCS Expert. Close out the coding tool. Do you want to empty the man file? Yes. And that's it.
So I may do one more video just to walk you through the steps again one more time. I'm going to code the double blink hazard light. So if you want to watch the whole process again, just stand by. Otherwise, uh, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe if you found this helpful at all. As you can see, it's very, very simple. Yeah, just follow the steps carefully. Uh, the biggest time consumer is getting all the software loaded to run properly, and it all depends on what kind of machine you're using and where you're getting your software from and where you're downloading it from. There are a million articles out there. I would just suggest you be patient and search around and try a couple of things. All the answers are out there. There's so much information out there. It's, uh, it's sort of overwhelming, but once you get it loaded, as you can see, those three software applications were able to do the job for me. I'll be sure to see my other videos. I'm going to put another video out there on battery coding and registration. That seems to be another big topic that seems to be quite confusing. And I'll try to give you some clarity around the differences between the two and why they're necessary. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm really sorry about the original focus of the first part of this video. Like an idiot, I had it in manual focus and obviously it's pretty crappy, but I don't feel like reshooting it. I think you get the idea. Let me show you how to quickly program the double blink hazard. So I've loaded uh, INPA. Everything seems to be running fine. I'm going to select my chassis F6, which is in E70. Let me make sure I can read. Yep. Looks like it's connected properly, so we're going to end that. And Yes, we're going to launch NCS Expert. Well, we're going to launch the BMW coding tool first. And we're going to launch NCS Expert. I'm going to process the ECU. We're going to read the FRM module. Okay, read ECU. Gonna exit, I'm gonna go out of there. I'm gonna save that trace file. There it is right there. There's a lot of stuff there, so I'm gonna save that trace file so I've kept my original. right there. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to stick a copy into my backup. Go into my backup and I'm going to rename that. Enter. So I've done that. We're going to open the BMW coding tool. We're going to load that trace file. There it is. We're going to search for double D O P P E L. There it is, right? There's the double impulse crash. We're looking for double impulse worn blinks right here. So we're going to change it to active. Double impulse worn blink. There it is, it's active. We're going to save the manipulation file. Yes. Save. Yes. Save. We're going to go back to the NCS Expert tool. We're going to change job. SG Coder in. OK. FRM modules that's showing there. We're going to execute the job. Coding active.
coding ended. So we're going to go back to the main menu. We're going to close this out. We're going to close this out. Do you want to empty the man file? Yes. And that should be it. Let me just see if I can get a double blank. So I don't know exactly what's going on with the double blank. I'll have to do a little more research into this. The double blank seems to work with my key in the ignition. If my key's not in the ignition, then it goes to a conventional blank. With your key in ignition, if you want a double blank, the programming steps I just took you through work. Thanks for watching. How about a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel? Good luck.